Welcome to another video with Mr. Long and we are looking at a video series using the CAT or the Computer Application Technology Prac Exam from November 2023. This is for the grade 12s in helping you prepare for your upcoming exams. And so we are looking at the second question, which is the second word question in today's video. And so let's go check it out. Let's get those word marks. So here we've got the second question, which is dealing with two tips. And I've already opened up that document over there. And let's start with 2.1. Change the margins of the document to narrow margins. So let's come over here. It's quite simple. That's got to do with the layout. So let's come here to layout. And there you can see margins. And hopefully one of them says narrower. There, there's the narrower option. So let's click on that. And then all the margins have adjusted to narrower. Quick and easy one mark. Add a three point border on the left and right side of the first page only. So we want a page border. Let's come here to design. And there you can see our page borders. So we're going to click on page borders. And so what exactly do they want? They want a three point border on the left and right side of the first page only. So we want a three point. So let's first select a three point. So let's go to three point on the left and the right side. So we're not going to select everything. We're just going to select this to put on the left side and that to put on the right side. And we don't want it on the whole document, but we only want the first page only only so let's select that option by clicking that there we go you can see over there there is our border there's nothing at the top there's nothing at the bottom and it's just going all the way through to the bottom there we go and it's not on the other pages okay so that's great easy marks let's go now to 2.3 create a link as follows find the text contact form and create a bookmark called contact form so let's come over here so there's the contact form so we first want to create a bookmark and the bookmark means this is where we're going to come when we click on the link so we're going to come here to insert and there is a bookmark so let's insert a bookmark so it's asking me for a name did they specify a name yes so we must call the bookmark contact so they've given me a name so i'm going to call it contact so we're going to add this bookmark over here so add it so that's a bookmark we must insert a link on the text choosing in the first paragraph to the contact bookmark. So the first paragraph, we're looking for the text choosing. So the first paragraph. So let's go scroll up, see if it's over here. Okay, there, there we go. There's the link. So we're going to select this text and we're going to create a hyperlink to that particular. So we're going to click on that link option and we want to go to a place in this document. So I'm going to come place in this document and there are all my headings. There's my bookmark. I want to click on that bookmark and go, okay, there we go. So now there is a link. So if I put my mouse on there, I press control and click on that, it will take me to the contact form. So there we go. So there's the, the bookmark and there's, there's the link. Let's go to the next question. 2.4, find the text that starts with one, a new vehicle. So let's go look here. I think that there it is. There's the text and ends with start the research. So let's first find that text. So let's start the research. Ah, there starts the research. So we actually want all of this text. So I'm going to select all of it. What do they want me to do? Change the numbered list to a bulleted list with the symbol of that little car, which is a Webdings character of 142. So let's change that option. So we're going to come here to home. We're going to change it to a bulleted list and we're looking for a new bullet. So we're looking for a particular symbol. So let's go find that symbol. And it's in Webdings, if I remember correctly. Webdings 142. So if I click here, Webdings, let's go down to Webdings. There's Webdings. So let's go to Webdings. And we want 142. So the moment that's 183. So if I scroll up, one, I think that's the one. 142 is the one that they want. You could have also stopped in there. So that's the car that they want. So they want that little car. Mine looks a little bit different, but it's still a car. So I'm going to click OK. And we're going to click OK. And you'll see that just those ones have changed to the bulleted list of cars. OK, so there's the two marks. Easy. Then 2.5. Let's edit the controls of the contact form. So let's go down to this contact form over here. We're going to edit these controls. Let's see the first thing. Find the text form field next to the surname and apply a word processing feature to the text field so that it appears as the rest of the form fields. So you'll notice that that one is very different to that one. So let's just have a look here. So there you can see there's a tab on these ones where these ones don't have a tab. So we can do that in multiple ways. We can go and manually put in a left indent tab over there and then just tab it or we can just click in here and we can copy the format of this and then click in front of it and it will create it so that it's the exact same thing so that's what i'm going to do so now we have a left tab stop so that that's where we want it to be then 2.5.2 change the text form field next to name to display the data in capital letters so next time when you die with these you just right click on them right click and then we're going to go here to properties 
So it's regular text. So maybe it's text format. Oh, we want it in uppercase. That makes sense. So we want it always to be in capital letters, which will be uppercase. So I'm happy with that. Click on that. Then 2.5.3, the contact number, so that it can only accept the correct number of digits. The correct number of digits. So that's going to be one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it can only accept 10 characters. So let's click on contact number. Let's right click on it and go to properties. And the maximum length mustn't be unlimited. The maximum length must be 10. So we don't want them to go more than 10 characters. So there we go. So that's the maximum length. Okay, as for that, so they're referring to the number of characters. I'm assuming they're talking about the maximum length. And 2.5.4, edit the field next to your preferred time so that the user can insert a specific time of day in that format. So let's first see how we're going to do that. So the preferred call, let's right click on that, go to properties. Let's see what options we have. Uh, we don't want the current time, but it's a type of time. The date includes time. So let's click on that. And then let's see what our format can be. Let's see what options they give us. Oh, they give us a whole bunch of options. And if I scroll down, you'll notice they also give me some time options. And we want it to be like that. H colon M M A M P M. Let's see if that's one of the options. H colon A M A M P M. I think that is what we want. Let's just double check. Yes, that's exactly what we want. So we want that option. So I'm going to click on OK. And there we go. So the, the key with these word questions is a lot of the times, the things that they give you, like that particular option, the words, like special words that they give you, you're going to find them in words. So that's how you know you're on the right track. So let's go to 2.6. Insert a shape to appear as the example below. So we want a little arrow and say in the word choose in it. And it must be pointing to those two check boxes. So over here, we want to insert an arrow. So let's go insert a shape. And we want an arrow like that. So I'm going to draw my arrow over here. So there it is. Let's put it up nice and in between. And we want to put text in it. So I'm going to add text. I'm going to say the word choose. And you'll see mine's colored in. I don't want it to be colored in. It looks very white like that. So let's go and take either we're going to take out the shape and make it have no fill or we can make it white. Now the problem with making it white is my text is now not visible. So I'm going to make sure that my text is visible by making my text actually black so that we can actually see there. I think that is correct so we've got a left arrow we've got the text and then we've made it white i think that's enough for the three marks and then find the smart art on the last page and format so that it appears like this so let's go to the smart art on the last page oh there's the smart art so we're going to select the smart art we want it to look like that note the 3d cartoon style was applied so that's the option that we want so let's go and we want to change. So we've got the smart art design over here. And so we can actually change the layout. So if I come and select the layouts. So if you see the arrow, let's see over here. If we come over here to the options, I think that is the closest looking one. So I'm going to click on that option. So that's the one thing. And the style, I think they gave us a clue that the style was 3D cartoon. So if we come here to style, there's the 3D ones. So which one's the cart? I think that one's the cartoon. That's the cartoon one. So there's the cartoon style added. Okay. So there we go. So let's look at what else. Pick a vehicle is first, but I'll pick a vehicle on that end. So we actually want this to invert. And I think that's the right to left option. So let's change that. So there we go. It's in the right order now. So let's go pick a vehicle, research, finance. Ooh, insurance installment. There's no negotiate. So you'll notice that there's no negotiate over here. So we need to actually insert a shape in between here. So actually over here, we're going to add a shape. Now you'll notice I've added and it should, if you look over here, it should be between finance and insurance. So I've got this blank over here. So I'm actually going to move this up a bit so that it's between the two and we need to add text to it. So I'm going to right click on it. Let's edit the text and we want this to say negotiate, negotiate. So there we go. If I click away, there we go. I think that's correct. Let's have a look. Pick a vehicle to installment, negotiate in the middle. It's phrasing that way and it looks like it's the right style. There we go. I think that's enough for the different marks. How many marks? It should be about four marks. There we go. Four marks. There we go. I think that's it. And that's it. That's the word question done. So we can save this. We are done with the word question. I hope you got that all done correctly. Now we can move on to question three, which will probably be the Excel part. Please remember to check the video description for links to the data files as well as the other videos in this video series. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel, really help us to support the channel and follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education as well. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.